and welcome back to Gapey's Bees. This fall we decided to do an oxalic acid vaporizing treatment for varroa mites. This is actually a newer treatment method for the United States. It was recently approved probably within the last one to two years and it's a treatment method that's been used in other countries for several years so it's good that we now have another option. I'm using the Varro Cleaner oxalic acid vaporizer that I got from Brushy Mountains online. It was a little over a hundred dollars. You can also find them at local bee stores. And a lot of people are switching to this treatment method. Um, it seems to work pretty well and it's not harmful to the bees. And the directions on mine said to use one to two grams of oxalic acid powder. So I used one of my, I have a small scale that does um, pretty fine weight measurements. So I used about 1.7 grams for the hive that we did first and I have two beehives. This is the one uh, that swarmed about a little over a month ago and they just recently made a new queen for the hive out of a, a frame that I took from my other hive. So that seemed to be successful during the inspection that we did right before this treatment. We spotted some eggs and a little bit of capped brood. So the the queen rearing was successful in the hive, so I'm glad to see that. I would didn't have to buy a new queen. So the since there was no laying queen in the hive for a period of about a month, there's not there wasn't any um, brood for that amount of time, and mites multiply in capped brood. So I'm not expecting a whole lot of mites in this hive since they had a pretty long break um, from being able to multiply. The Vero cleaner actually did come with the little stand that has foam on the back and metal in the front that you can put over the wand to keep it in place so it doesn't lift up into the hive. Um, we forgot to use that for the first hive, but we did use it on the second hive. So that's why we used the little piece of wood um, to help keep the, the wand in place for the first hive. And since there's not very much cap brood in this hive, I think only one treatment is probably good enough of oxalic acid because oxalic acid does not get under the cappings of the brood. So if you do have cat brood, you'll want to do multiple treatments. And I've seen anywhere from three to five days um, consecutive of a treatment. I'm going to go with the five-day rotation on the other hive that I have to make sure that I get as many of the mites as possible. So we covered up the entrance with some dry rags um, to keep the vapor in. But as you can see, there's a little bit of vapor coming out from the front and also the back of the hive. So next time, I think we'll use wet, wet rags because that, I think, will help keep the vapor in better and also secure the back as well to keep the vapor from coming out the back. And I've also heard of people recommending instead of putting the wand into the front of the hive, if you have if you have a screen bottom board like I do, you can actually put the wand into the back of the the hive instead of in the front. And the reason people do that is because some reported having burned the bees if they land on the wand. We didn't seem to have that problem. They seem to avoid it just fine on both of the treatments that we did. So I don't think that's completely necessary, but it might be better um, just in case. So I think next time we'll try doing the vapor from the back instead of the front. So it takes about um, 30 seconds or so for the vapor to start um, coming out once you plug it into the, the 12 volt battery. And then it takes about another two to three minutes for all of the, the oxide oxalic acid to vaporize. And I've heard recommendations to leave um, the hive closed off for about 10 minutes before you open it back up again. And we didn't do it for that long, so next time we may, we may extend the amount of time that the hive is closed off. If you're going to be treating multiple hives, you need to make sure that the metal wand that you put the oxalic acid in is completely cooled off before you do that. If you wait, um, if you don't wait until it's cooled off and you add oxalic acid to the hot wand, it could start vaporizing right in front of your face, which is a really bad 
idea because oxalic acid is pretty toxic, um, both for inhaling and also if you get it on your skin. So make sure you wear gloves. Um, some people use a respirator when they do the treatment, but we stood downwind um, from the hive and we stood a pretty fair distance away from it to make sure that we didn't inhale any of that vapor. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.